Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store. I'm back from my week away, which was phenomenal. And I felt very inspired to use, oops, to use this uh, wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck today. I had so much animal symbolism and animal messengers, like so many of them come through while I was away. It was amazing. And there is a lot of animal symbolisms in these cards. So I thought, what a perfect way to start off the week and dive into these cards. So I hope, okay, Jumper, I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. And let's see what's in store. The energy is very interesting. I have been very detached from mainstream energies, 3D media kind of stuff. So mine is very, my energy right now is very ethereal, if I could say it that way, cosmic. Um, so I'm curious, I say that because I'm curious to see what comes through in the cards this week about what we need to know on uh, any levels. And we'll see what they have to say, because there's a very interesting energy brewing, and I'm going to talk about it in the podcast shortly. So there's an interesting energy brewing that I want to dive into a little bit more. So I'm curious, curious if it's going to come through the cards. So let's see here. Okay, that's interesting. So um, I'm just asking them which way they want me to read this. Just give me one second here. Okay, in partnership with spirit, got it. So our jumper card, first of all, is partnership. And so when it first jumped out, I was thinking, oh, this is you know relationships, business partnerships. But what my guides were just saying is they're saying this is to do with the relationship with spirit. Okay, so this is really interesting. That's the relationship they want to speak about. So this is your connection to your guides, angels, spirit guides, uh, those in the higher realms. And so what they're saying right now, this week, this energy that I was kind of talking about, the first card that jumped out is the restriction card, meaning the understandings of the pathway, the whole length of the pathway may not be visible to you this week. Now, this is specific to this week or even at least the starting of the week, because in my mind, I'm seeing up until Wednesday at this point. So you may not be able to see what is beyond Wednesday, or you may not be able to feel into what is beyond Wednesday at this point, and that's okay. Um, what they're saying right now is this is giving you, sorry, my cat's trying to jump up here. This is giving you a real sense of independence and healthy boundaries. And interesting, we have this cat card, and I have... <laughs> my cat trying to jump up on my lap and paw me the whole time. So this is this opportunity of restriction, not seeing beyond Wednesday is giving you the opportunity to really sit in your own personal independence, your own sense of self, your knowing and awareness, where you need boundaries, where you want to push yourself forward and really standing in that power. And what's interesting is while I was away, this card, the image of this card actually flashed to my mind a couple of times with spirit. And the message from them in that was, be sure to always stand in your truth first and foremost. And that was pertaining to a whole bunch of different lessons. But the message here is, even though you don't know what's coming around past Wednesday, potentially, that doesn't mean you are left flailing. This means you are to tune into your higher self and tune into your conscious self. The you that is you right now listening, you have a sense of self. You have a sense of feelings, of intuitions. Tune into that in this energy. Be willing to be that independent self. And as you move through the energies of this week, they're saying move through the energy of the deer, which is gentleness and diplomacy. This is like be gentle with the information that comes from you and the information that comes to you. That's interesting. Be gentle with it. Be diplomatic about it. Don't be reactory. This card is saying, don't jump into ego. Take a moment, pause and observe. And what they want you to observe is this water fairy card, which is your feelings and emotions. 
observe what emotions are coming up for you and ask why. Get curious. Curiosity is going to be a really good thing for you this week as you maneuver this path. And again, what I'm getting with this pathway, coming back to this restriction card, is we'll be given like a few days at a time or like up until Wednesday, we can kind of feel into the next couple of days. And then by Wednesday, we'll feel into the next few days for this week. They're also saying tread lightly this week. Um, and when I ask them what they mean by tread lightly, they're saying just tread lightly in the world around you. It's not that you have to tread lightly in fear, but they're saying walk softly, that kind of that uh, diplomacy card here, walk softly with the things that come up around you. There may be more things that we see in the media that are triggering fear, um, triggering worry, more events happening. I mean, I know a lot of events happened while I was away. There's been lots of shootings, all this kind of stuff. They're saying tread lightly in the world around you with the information you take in. Set up those healthy boundaries with this cat. If you need a break from the information, take a break from the information, but also feel into your energy. Feel into what it's telling you. Take time for you. Pay attention to you. Let it surface. Let it come out. I was listening to a song on the drive home yesterday, and it was about... Um, about being strong enough to feel it, strong enough to stand in your truth and feel your emotions. And I mean, the lyrics were beautiful. I can't think of the song title right now, but it was so true. And when we give ourselves the time to sit in our emotions, whether they're tough ones or celebratory, like how often do we not sit long enough in the emotion of pride and accomplishment, um, joy, that feeling of achievement, like we really did something, conquered something. Sometimes we're quick to brush it off because we don't want to be full of ourselves. We don't want to sit in it. We want to be like, oh yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. But what if we were to sit in that energy and allow what we did, the feelings that come with it to fill our cup and imbue all our cells and our energy and radiate from us, carrying us forward? Why would we dampen something that is really good? Just as when we have tough things that happen, we need to feel it to allow it to move through so it doesn't get stuck within us and create disharmony, illness, stress, all that kind of stuff. So feel your emotions, set the boundaries where needed, move with gentleness and don't be afraid if you can't feel past Wednesday at this point. It's all okay because spirit is coming in talking specifically about their partnership. And so if you look at this symbol in this partnership card, it's kind of like a figure eight. Uh, the infinity symbol, but really what it is, is it's the two connecting points of a triangle. They're connecting at their peak. That's kind of like where two worlds connect. So spirit is saying, don't doubt that we're not with you. If it feels quiet to you, we are right here. We are right here. Just give us a few days, trust and rely on self knowing that you are not alone. And so really the last thing they're showing me in my mind is that uh, the more we step up into our knowledge and understanding of co-creation with our guides, with the universe, with the energies, how much we co-create, meaning we are a sovereign equal part of it. We are not just the pawns or peons in it. We are equal parts, right? We are the queen to the king. We are the king to the queen of the spirit world. We are equal counterparts. When we really know that and embody that, then we don't doubt in the, mom in the moments when it's quiet. So that's really what they want us to know. So I will leave that with you guys for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Do check out the Jeanette Viral podcast. I just dropped one today. It's a good one. So you'll want to check that one out. You can listen to it here online or on any of the audio uh, podcast platforms. And lastly, check out avalonspirit.com. If you're wanting to deepen your journey and your practice into awakening, uh, maybe even learning your own skills and connecting with spirit, I do have a course called the Lightworker Mentorship Circle, and you can check that out on avalonspirit.com. See you guys tomorrow.